Hey guys, what is up? My name is Novo or Nora, you can call me either one. And I just wanted to get a little intro to today's video, which I will be pretty much just going over my morning routine, like what products I use, what I do to get ready, and then I'll give you guys a little insight about like my little makeup routine. This is the spoiler alert. Um, just kind of everyday makeup, it's really minimal. But um, I'm just gonna do some filming today, so. It's just enough for like that every day, my kind of vibe. But then I'll also go into kind of my night routine and what I do before I get ready for bed, if anyone cares. Um, but that's kind of what I'm gonna do today. And let me know um, in the comments about what kind of videos you guys would like to see from me next. I know I'm gonna do a Q&A, so if you guys have any questions for me or want me to answer any, comment down below. Any other questions that you guys have, um, let me know. Good morning, everybody. Well, it is at least for me, so good afternoon, good evening, and good night. The first thing I tend to do is get my coffee. I put uh, like two tablespoons of this living silica in it. I've noticed a difference with this compared to like just biotin. And plus I'm hypermobile. I have hypermobile joints and this is good because I want them to last long. <clears throat> I feel like the first thing I do is wash my face. So I should get a ponytail. Okay. I do have this thing too in case I want like my little flyaways to not be there. I guess we can use it, it's a look. I'm not really a bow girl, but live it. So I wash my face with just water. Dab, don't rub. That's what I've always heard. The only really skincare I do, I'll use Sarah V in the shower. Um, I only really use this in the shower because I'm lazy, but um, I use their foaming facial cleanser for normal to oily skin. Cause like I have dry skin, but then I'll randomly get like oil, oil. Like in some places it's like so dry. It's like the desert and then other places it's like a rainforest. So. so I don't really do that if I'm being honest with you guys. But so then what I'm using is the Ordinary brand. This one's the Hydraulic Acid 2% B5. So that's what I use in the morning. You guys will see what one of these I use at night. But what I pretty much do is I don't let it touch my fingers for like two or three drops. People put that directly on their face, then back in, but I'm like, that's double dipping to the worst thing you could double dip with. Like I'm trying to get, keep my breakouts on my face. But I actually haven't been breaking out that much again. I go into like these spurts where like I'll actually get some on my cheeks and stuff like that, which I used to never ever get, but now I'm paying for it now, so. Then I wash my hands because I don't want it to get in my eyeball. I'll take this off. I'll take this guy off as well. Whoa. Now I'm going to brush my teeth. I like to do the bamboo ones because these ones are compostable, but um, this one's like old. I use it for when I'm cleaning. So when I, like I said, I do have acrylics on right now. When I have acrylics on, if I don't clean them very good, then they will make me break out 10 times worse. So. I use that as like when I'm washing my hands as a brush for under them all. So good use to upcycle older toothbrushes. Now I have a tongue scraper. I'm not going to show you guys my tongue after it's scraped before and after, but I um, highly recommend, especially if you're a coffee drinker. I use Crest if anyone cares right now. I, I'm more of a flattener than a squeezer. You know what I mean? When people like squeeze it out. What are you guys? I'd like to know. Both are okay, I guess. I just like to flatten them. Plus, if you put it on the edge of the of the sink, use that ledge. Works wonders. Then I have one of these that I reuse a lot of them, like the little floss things. And I'll do them once in a while, not the best. I don't single use these. I like will use them a bit before I throw them on. It still looks clean, or I can like rinse it off, but I'll still use it because I just I'm sorry, if that's gross, I'm sorry, but I just don't have it in my heart to throw it away after one use. That just doesn't make any sense to me. I also will say I do not floss often, but I've been trying to get better at it. So as long as I told you guys that, I feel okay doing it today. Progress. Okay, so now that my face is dry from the serum that I put on, I'm gonna do the lotion. I am an equate bitch. <laughs> I am a great value. I am an equate. I am a anything that's, I wouldn't say that I'm cheap. I'm just not 
luxury invested. You know what I mean? This one's collagen moisturizer. Equate beauty. I know a lot of people get like really expensive, especially skincare, but like I will never let myself try that. I feel like I would love it. And I'd probably buy the buy it if it was, you know, reasonable. Like I'm not talking about crazy. I'm not doing anything crazy, but also if you have acrylics, I just recently learned the scoop it up rather than scoop it up, because it'll get all under your nail. I guess I don't really need to put lotion like on my cheeks. I'm sure it's mainly like my forehead. Because if you guys follow me on TikTok, you don't know I do a lot of facial expression and like eyebrow raising. Oh, this is just really bad lighting, but that's okay. Oh, alrighty. I will say that in the mornings, I use this the Serene Cool Mint, but I really don't like how it, the feeling of it. It feels like it's like a shot of vodka or something. Like, I don't. Oh, uh -huh. there you go. So, don't make fun of me, but. Cheers. <laughs> la, 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 la. Oh, it's just too, too much. I like my afternoon mouthwash a lot better. So stay tuned for that one. Deodorant, 0% aluminum, 0% aluminum because uh, part of my family history it has breast cancer in it, so we ain't gonna put no aluminum in our pits. <laughs> Last but not least, I put my contacts in. Putting on contacts with acrylics is a whole different realm. Like for the people who have like long ass nails, like props to you, honestly. Fun fact: I've never slept with contacts, and I'm just kind of very new to the contacts world. And one time. I was like going to sleep and I was like, shit, I forgot to put my contacts away. And I didn't have that stuff, so I put it in water. And then and I read on the internet and then pretty much all the answers were like, no, you can't, no, you can't. But I just opened the pack, like they were brand new. Cause I have like the ones that go for like two weeks. And so I was like, I'm not gonna throw these away. That's so freaking wasteful. And so what I did then is that I just couldn't wear them for the next two days. And I, I changed them and cleaned them in my solution, which if you wanna know, I use BioTrue. Contacts are in. Now I think I'm gonna take you guys over to my desk where I can do some mild makeup. So I'll see you over there. Wow, this lighting is much better than the bathroom lighting. It looks like I have like a beauty filter on because all the light like blurs my pores. Pores who? Who has pores? Everybody do. So I don't actually prime my face to be honest. I sometimes do, but if I'm, I'm not like gonna wear foundation or anything today, unless I have like anything, any like big acne scars that I'm trying to hide. So my go-to palette is the Soft Glam palette and I will show you a really easy thing that I do. So I get like a brush that's like this kind of flat and then I'll go into that rustic-y color, this one. I'll just do that all around, especially towards the corners, like the end corners. Bless you. Wow, that one turned out a lot bolder than this one. Oh no. Blend it, blend it, blend it. Then I'll take a blending brush, aka just anything that's long, and I'll go barely into this shade, which is Cypress Umber. Oh, I never actually read the shades until now. <laughs> so that one I'll just pack in the corner here. That's my dog. Baby! Baby! Say hi! Oh, what'd you got? So literally it's two colors right now. I mean, I know it's not the best. I'm not the best at makeup in general, but I feel like if I know anything about something, it's about eyeshadow or mascara or maybe even eyebrows. So then the last part of my eyeshadow thing, well, second to last, I take one of these like flat brushes and I go into tempera, like the lightest shade. You can see it's the most used one. And I will literally just put that in the inner corners. Blend it out and the brow bone. 
And I'll take that flat one that I used earlier. And I'll just blend this. Okay, so then I take these, this like flat kind of eyeliner brush. It breaks though, so I just take it off before it already falls off. And then I'll go into Nor, Noir, Noir. People are gonna like roast me in the comments for that. Anyway, I just pack it in there. And then I go a little bit on the outside. Doop. Then pat it in. I only really go to like the middle of my eye. It's like where my um, iris is, like the center of that. Oh no. All right, okay. You know what mood I've been in lately though? I've been in a black liner in your waterline kind of mood. But this is like an everyday makeup thing. So like this, I don't do that every day. And I'm out of my thin one because I used the precisely my brow pencil in four, shade four. But I guess it's out, but this one's the same thing. It's just in shade three and it's the one with double sides. It's called Goof Proof Brow Pencil. This one's a little flatter. I will say that I don't really like the flat one, the flat top one, as much as the pointed top one because I feel like the flat one like rips out my eyebrows sometimes. That's what I usually use, but because I don't want to rip out my eyebrows tonight, then I go for Anastasia. Dip Brow Pomade Chocolate. So it's like one of those things, looks like that. So I feel like that's pretty like that's like literally my hair color like my natural hair color which i've only balayaged the ends i've never like dyed dyed it or gotten it like professionally dyed mm -hmm. i don't know someone tell me if i could be making my life so much easier by doing something different then i just kind of start here i know it looks like packed right there i blend it blend it with my fingers i feel like my brows are actually kind of like sisters right now they usually look too good shapes but they're not the same shape you know what i mean like for the longest time this one was like thicker but shorter and this one was thinner but longer so it took me a while to kind of figure out you know the whole don't touch them and then just kind of start by scratch so i don't know i don't mind them right now plus i love that like fluffy brows are in like thick fluffy brows because i never was really into the whole thin brow thing but I will say that in high school, like this one was like this long at one point in my life. And that's when I was like, all right, you need to let them go, let them grow and then figure it out. <laughs> it was not a good look. Oh, and I, I just use one of these. I don't get new brushes ever. So I don't, I don't really even know where this came from. Uh, all of them really can be done. I don't buy much of the brushes unless they come in like a set. Oh. This bitch. So this is the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. I just like Benefit's brow selections cause they're just amazing. And it's kind of like a hairspray, like gel for your eyebrows. And if you can see, there's like a thicker end and a more shallow end. A little goes a long way. So I just brush them all up first. Kind of like up and then out as you go. It's deeper. I get to have some fluff though, you know what I mean? Especially like right here. And then this is what they look like. I probably could have gone darker, but again, this is like everyday look. An everyday beach. And then, oh, mascara, duh. I'm not gonna put foundation on because I feel like that's not that bad. I think I could, but I'm not, I'm not going out today or anything. <laughs> so what I use is L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Original. And this, I will say, I really like it because it's so pigmented, but it does tend to get some clumpy. So I'll, it does tend to get clumpy. So I'll tell you what I do to kind of counteract that. I do the blink on method and like the shimmy. To kind of like shimmy it to like the center of my face. That's with one dip. That's with literally one dip. And I've been using this for a while and I still on the same dip, I like barely touch it to the bottoms cause then they kind of look like spider, <laughs> spider legs. Okay. 
Okay, so that's one. You can see. Mm -mm. Like, look at the length from that. Okay, so what I do is before it dries, because again, it is a little clumpy, but right now it doesn't look that bad, but I'll just show you anyway. One of these, empty. Nothing on it. I mean, I could probably wash it off, but there's nothing on it. And then I'll just brush it through, especially from like the root to tip. See, like, I think that just makes it look so much better. So she may have like a little clumpy. Like that one is bugging me. But I'll just take that guy off with your head. Separate them out a little bit. There we go. Much better. You ever get like that one that's like super long right here? Not like an actual eyelash, but just like after you put mascara on for some reason. No, just me? Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really wear lipstick or foundation unless I'm like filming or unless I'm going out or getting like pictures taken. But I will also say that I got this thing from Last Swab. It's a two pack. And this one's obviously for your ears. Looks like this on each end. So that's like for your ears, you can just wash it under um, warm water. But then the other side, anyone who is wearing makeup, um, this one looks like this. And so if I had like a speck of mascara, I didn't want to ruin my eyeshadow, I'll just pick it off. Or like if I had, was wearing a lot of black eyeliner that day before and I wanted to wipe some of it away or had like a clump of black in the middle. Or if I'm like, geez, that's a lot of black. Let me just rub some of that, blend it a little more. So yeah, anyone who wears makeup, this would be a great tool for you. Last swab. And then that's pretty much it. The only thing I do with my hair, cause it, it always, whenever I sleep, it always does this like weird kind of ruching things here, but then it will like stop at the end. Probably cause that's the part that's actually like been dyed, but I didn't think it would like do it that much. I usually have pretty straight hair. So what I do is I just blow dry it. Okay, so now that most of it's straight, what I do is cause during quarantine, I did cut my own curtain bangs like you do, but I cut like a lot of them off. I'm trying to grow half of them out. So it's just these ones. And then I can actually make them like curtain bangs. But what I do is I grab them, grab them all up, and I'll blow dry them first like this, especially like at the root. Oh, hello, bald spot. How you doing? And then at the end, I will flip them up and then, oh, shiny. And then just do the same thing. Really not the best at this, you guys. All right, that's a little better, but oh well. Okay, so that was how I get ready for the day, kind of ish, casual day. Regarding this, um, I sleep with them, I shower with them, I do everything with them. So that's not like something where I'm like, ooh, what jewelry should I wear today? It's like. I'll get bored of it for a little bit and then I'll be like, all right, let's switch it up. But right now I'm not bored of it. I'm living for it. So in case that was, in case someone thought that they missed out on the jewelry selection part, you did not. It's just that I literally wear them all the time. Unless I'm going in a hot tub because they will tarnish like that. But other than that, they're great. Which I'm gonna create an Amazon link so that you guys can find these ones because I have wear tested all these guys and these guys. Same thing. I don't, I don't take them out or anything. And I guess I will see you guys at the end of the day when I am taking my makeup off and getting ready for bed. So, see ya. In case anyone wanted to know, this is the outfit for the day. Rocking the Central Perk t-shirt from Walmart. And then these little shorts um, that are super comfy. And they're from TJ Maxx, so definitely all under like $15, I'd say this outfit. Except for the Burks. Gotta show off the Burks, which I've had for like a decade now. <laughs> In case anyone wanted my agenda for today, I think I'm pretty much just gonna film some TikTok videos for you guys. My TikTok is Nobo's Art. 
By the way, in case people are wondering, you can call me Nobo or Nora. Nora is my legal name, but like my friends and people have always just called me Nobo for as long as I remember. I don't even really know where it comes from. But yeah, so that's my agenda for today. I'm gonna probably do that and then start editing this video for you guys because I've never edited before. So I'm gonna give that a go. And nope, that's my dad. Didn't see him in the reflection. So kind of gonna chill and hang out with my dog and I will see you guys tonight. Hello, everybody. We made it through the day. It was a good day, it was a chill day, but I got some filming done and I started editing this video for you guys. So now I'm in my kind of PJs. I like to wear boxer briefs, I think they're called, like the tighter boxers. In case you wanna know, I don't know. So the first thing I'm gonna do when I get ready for bed is to wash my hands. Like I said, acrylics can get some gross stuff underneath them, so I like to wash them before I'm gonna to touch my face or my eyes or anything like that. Right now that I know my hands are clean, I'm going to first take all my contacts, which is also a whole different thing with acrylics because I can't just like pinch them out or else I'm gonna scratch my cornea or my contacts and I like to make them last. I kind of just slide them inward now. There we go. I'm gonna take off my makeup, which you guys are aware of. My makeup is really just here and here. So what I use is the Garnier Skin Active, I don't know how to say this, Micell Micellar? Micellar Cleansing Water? Someone tell me how to pronounce that, but it's the all-in-one. A lot of you guys, if you're from TikTok, have called me out in using, not necessarily called me out, but noticed that I use Wee Jars a lot, like the OUI um, yogurt jars. I love reusing them, and on Amazon, they actually have caps for them which I need to get. I'll take like a cotton round and I'll just put that on it and then I'll do my makeup off. And the most annoying thing is I'm so impatient and you're supposed to just let it soak on your mascara for a while so that it like just, you can just slide it off. But I tend to just rub it off. But that's not good for your skin. So I'm trying to be patient, but I really suck at being patient. As you can see, cause I'm already rubbing it. So that's like kind of like the one, you can see my mascara and my eyeshadow. Then I use the back side for the other one. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be more eco-conscious. So I don't really use makeup wipes unless I have like a full face of something and I'm just really lazy or if I'm feeling really lazy. But what I will do, so I have a scissors here, is because I cut them. So like if I was just taking my eye makeup off, I'd cut them into like fourths. But if it was just like my full face, I could still do that in like half of a makeup wipe. So I'll try to do that, but I try to use these as much as possible, which also kind of motivates me to not wear foundation, but that's okay. And then I always just have a rubber band on it because if I'm going somewhere like overnight, I just have it like that so that they don't fall out. But now I'm gonna put my hair back so I can wash my face. I didn't shower today, so I'm not gonna use the CeraVe because I don't usually do it and I wanna be real. So I just wash my face with water, warm water. I'm gonna take my special towel. This one's technically for your hair, but I only use this one for like my face because I don't want to dry my hands on the same towel that I dry my face. You know what I mean? I like to think it helps, but what do I know? <laughs> so similar to how I used this one from The Ordinary Brand um, in the morning, I'm using this one from The Ordinary Brand at night. Lactic Acid 10%. So it's a nice little pinky tone. And with that, I do the same thing. I don't want it to touch any of my skin or my face because I don't want it to double dip back in there. I will say that like just feeling wise, I like the first one, like my morning serum a lot better because it's a lot more like dewier and jelly while this one's really kind of dry feeling. That's what it is. And I just always, I don't know, I just always wash my hands after I put that stuff on. And then I brush my teeth. I don't know if other people do this, but I always do this. Just a little exfoliating. Get any dead skin off, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people do that. <sighs> Tongue scraper, because I had Femme Hot Cheetos today. That's all stained on my tongue. Gonna go back to this guy too. Because I did a lot of facial expressions today when I was filming, so gotta make sure the forehead stays 
nice and young. <laughs> and then one that's not an Equate product is the L'Oreal Paris Wrinkle Expert Eye Treatment. 55 plus. What does that mean? Does that mean? Oh, well. <laughs> oh shoot, they say you're supposed to do this, this one because there's like less of a tendon or something that it's like the most delicate. I just put it right here and I always like go up. Oh, I try not to go down, but then I always go up here too. On the temples. Okay. And now for my most favorite um, mouthwash. I use this Crest 3D White. It's kind of spendy though, so I don't always get it. It's supposed to help whiten your teeth and prevent cavities and it is in winter mint. Cheers. I want to be shiny. And then what I do is on cold water, I will brush out my retainer. I used to have a metal one, but I think it melted or something. My teeth wouldn't be able to shut right, but I always do this one on cold water because I'm afraid that it's gonna melt or something. Oh, I almost, I almost forgot. I use this a lot when I am like breaking out a lot, but thankfully, I'm not right now. This is Neutrogena Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne. And this is like a spot treatment. Spot treatment. Sorry, it was my lisp. This I use a lot. I will just dab it on when I have acne or active acne or things that I'm like, okay, something's growing under there and I need you to not. Then I'll put this on as well. I already took a melatonin because it's a little bit of an insomniac and I'm not going to sleep unless I take something. So that's kind of my nighttime routine. I got my water. Reminder to stay hydrated, hydrate yourself, and yeah, so, hey guys. All right, so that is the end of today's video. Yay, first YouTube video ever. I know I'm gonna do a Q&A for sure. So drop any questions you have for me down below that I could answer in my next one. I think that one's probably gonna be my next one. Let me know if you guys have any other ideas or video ideas you guys wanna see from me because I'm very new to the YouTube thing. Hi, first video, woohoo. You will see where this goes and I'm excited and I want to post a lot for you guys so I mainly film videos on TikTok I post like two or three a day it's getting to be like three every day because I just have so many in my drafts that I want to just post and post and post for you guys feel free to check out my TikTok it's at Nobo's Art if you want to no pressure but yeah let me know um how you guys like this video or what you guys think what you guys want to see next from me on this platform because i know i do a lot on tiktok but youtube is a whole different realm i mean i'm not lip syncing i'm talking with my actual voice so it's very new and scary to me but i'm really excited to be able to get to know the youtube realm more so thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you want don't if you don't that is cool with me i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys on the next one bye